Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you step by step how we can easily use the calendar view in ClickUp and how we can manage the calendar with your tasks. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in ClickUp you want to click on add view on the top. Here you're going to find a calendar. Calendar view is your place for planning, planning, scheduling and resource management and you can have a pin view. Pin this view to make it stand out in the top bar or you can have it as a private, make this view visible to only you. So you have the option to do that and then just click here, add a view. And here we have it, what we can actually find here. Having a calendar in ClickUp is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So when you would come here to the list, uh, you would find that you're going to find, okay, the due dates that I have here, I'm going to find in a calendar for August. Now let's say that I would just choose the due date as recurring from here and then recur weekly see recur forever then I can simply uh, click save then I can go to calendar and see that I have it for every single day. And as you can see, the difference between the normal task and recurring is there is like those wine, white line here around it. Now what you can do is you can uh, have it by today. You can simply go by month and year here. So you can like switch here 2021, 2020. That's pretty simple. You can of course, or you can search the tags here. You can filter it or you can go by time period, let's say daily. I'll just auto save it. Then you have option to have four days a week or a month. So let's say there is going to be a week and you have option to find weekly or monthly. You can also uh, only show assigned tasks to me. So it's not going to, so let's say these are not assigned to me, but when I'm going to click here on the top right, only show tasks assigned to me, I will find only those that are assigned to me. That's pretty great. Filter task by assignee. Then you have also option to show and that's pretty much it. So now when you go on the bottom right, you have options to record the clip, reminder, new doc, calendar. So now what I can do, I can simply be in a ClickUp and I can create a task directly in my calendar. So yes, you have options to add a list, but let's say that you want to do it through the calendar. What you can do is to click on the calendar, then click a plus here. A task name, let's say this is going to be a YouTube meetup with fellow YouTubers. I can assign it to myself. Then I can add a custom field. Like when you click here, custom fields, you're going to have the show six empty fields and you're going to find the status. Let's say working on it, cost of producing video, where cost of producing video, we have zero because this is meeting label YouTube, YouTube link and task. I can add a task or I like link it together. Now what you can do, you can of course, even in the calendar, you can edit or add or edit fields. So that's what you can do. And now when you're going to have it, you can click like, okay, we got it. Then you can change the priority and you can have the start date, which is going to be today that I clicked. and due date. So this is the start date. And let's say the due date is going to be 18. Now when I'm going to click save here, what will happen? Let's see, as you can see, it went, uh, it prolonged even to all those days, because I said that I want to have uh, it here. But let's say what happened, guys, we're not going to have it until 18. We are going to have it until until 24. So you can even have it like that. 
So you can really optimize it and edit it as much as you want. Now when I'm going to click on it again, I can change the due date on our top and this is where you can edit the task. So I can click on the task, I can add a description here, I can add the cost of producing the video, the label, the status. So that's all what you can do and how you can operate with it. And then you can also do the time tracking on the top. So you can also add a subtasks. So subtasks can be okay, uh, drive there with the car. Then I can add a checklist, which is going to be, let's say, bring a bottle of wine. So we got it right. I can click X. Now what will happen guys if I if I go to list in a list I can see YouTube meetup with fellow YouTubers. Now if I'm going to have the yoga channel and I would go back to the calendar look what will happen it will change the color. So the color that you have for your list it will automatically change. See? I mean it's already here but it's uh, tricking me. And see it's yellow. But what you can do guys is to simply change the color or you can search the status. And you can move with it. Right? But I don't know if I can already change the color here. But probably no. But so this is really important to have really pretty colors of your lists. So you can change them as you want. So in the calendar when I am right now, it's going to always change. So that's how you can actually use the calendar in ClickUp. Now if you're going to have any questions regards uh, ClickUp calendar, let me down below in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. We know how it goes, you know how it is. And yeah. Thank you very much, have a great day and goodbye. This was the calendar tutorial for ClickUp.